Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today we are reviewing, once again, another highlighter. <laughs> These things just keep launching and I keep caving and buying them and I can't help it. It's just all so beautiful. <laughs> today I'm trying something that is all over Instagram, mine included. <laughs> it just looks so goddamn beautiful. As soon as I saw that this was launching, I was like, I need that. <laughs> no questions asked. I was like, add it to my cart right now. You've all seen the title. It's the ABH Loose Highlighter. It comes in this silver box, which is now full of fingerprints and is also ravaged by me. <laughs> I got too excited okay and I couldn't open the box so I just kind of ripped it open. I have no self-control. <laughs> now I will admit I have already used this product but I wanted to demo it and give my thoughts and feelings on it because this is expensive. It's £25 for this highlighter which I mean is a ridiculous price for a highlighter in general. So I wanted to discuss whether I think it's worth it, what happens to the skin, does it add texture or anything like that because it is a loose highlight. So I wanted to show you how I use it and also what it looks like on my skin. I've got the paler shade which is called Snowflake. I bought this off Anastasia Beverly Hills website because they now ship to the UK which is amazing. It's not available on Beauty Bay at the moment. I don't know if it's going to be available. They do sell Anastasia things so maybe in the future it will be. But let's see what this highlight claims to do. So the loose highlighter powder with highly reflected iridescent pearls that delivers an intense sparkly payoff. Typically I don't like that in highlighters I like it to be like smooth and just like a sheen to the skin because that way it looks a bit more natural. Usually your cheekbones don't beam off your face but you know as natural as it can look like that. <laughs> it says that it's an easy to blend formula with a soft velvety texture and leaves you with a silky finish. It's supposed to be like a loose powder version of the ABH glow kits. I've never tried those myself just because I haven't really found one that would suit my skin tone. All of the ones from ABH seem to have like a darker undertone and I haven't found like a full kit that I can use all of the colors. If I'm spending 40 plus pound on a highlighter kit I want to be able to use every single color okay. But this formula is supposed to be finely milled, lightweight and allows for buildable coverage. You can create anything from a subtle luminosity to a dramatic high reflect look. Okay, so I've got the shade Snowflake, which is supposed to be a silver shade, which I didn't actually realize that because typically I go for like a warm highlight, but online it looks more like a warm gold. I am going to show you what this looks like on my skin, whether it shows any texture or anything like that. So let's open this baby up first of all. I love the packaging on this, okay. Am I a magpie? Probably in another life, <laughs> but this just this is just someone else. It's so pretty. And actually, it's quite a big jar. I thought it would be quite small, but you get quite a lot in here. You get 0.21 ounces. I don't really have anything to compare that to. Well, actually, bear with me. I might do. I might do. I don't typically buy loose highlights, so I don't really have a lot of them to go to. But I've got this one by Makeup Revolution. Obviously, this is going to be really affordable. I think it's like £6 or something like that. And this has 1.47 ounces, so this has quite a lot more than the ABH one. So for comparison, don't get a lot of product in here, I guess. If it's gorgeous, maybe it's worth it. So with all that said, let's zoom you guys in and let's just see how this looks on the skin. Okay, I filmed like three other videos today, so if I'm not making sense, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I filmed this eye makeup, it's all using one brush. I show you guys how I do it. And also I filmed me trying a new foundation technique. But anyway, let's get onto this baby. <laughs> all right, so one thing I do have to say, um, it's gonna be very random, but the actual thing that sticks over the sifter in here was a nightmare to take off. <laughs> it was really stuck on there and I appreciate it so nothing goes nowhere but jeez, <laughs> it was really stuck on there. But this is what it looks like. In the actual tub, it does look very, very sparkly. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to like buff and blend it into the skin because I really don't like sparkly highlights. <laughs> Why I decided to get this then, I don't know. Again, I'm just drawn to sparkly things. <laughs> I'm taking the Spectrum B07 brush and I'm just gonna dip lightly in here. I don't wanna pick up too much product just tapping off all the excess. It does look slightly chunky, so I'm hoping this isn't gonna leave like flakes or chunks of the product. I'm hoping it's gonna be able to blend and buff in. I've set my face with powder, so I am all powdered down and matte. As far as my skin up here, by the way, I don't have that much texture or anything, but sometimes certain highlighters do bring out texture that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> so let's see how this one pans out. Let's go in. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean that is that is insane. <laughs> One thing I just I want to know is how are you gonna oh God. How are you gonna get a buildable look with this? This is insanely blinding look at that Ooh. Okay, as I'm buffing and blending it is kind of dulling down just slightly but not 
not really. <laughs> it's left a slight cast, white cast on my skin, which is hard to do because I am very pale, <laughs> but it has blended into the skin really nicely. It's not left chunks all over my skin, which I was thinking it might. Oh, I quite like this right now. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more, just a little bit. And I've taken just what's in the lid because there's a little bit of dusting in there and I've really tapped off the excess. There's barely anything on my brush anymore. And I'm just gonna go right on there. Right on the high points. This is insanely beautiful and actually a lot easier than what I thought it would be to use. I was kind of thinking maybe it would fluff everywhere as soon as it went on the brush, but in all honesty, it's not it's not hard to use at all. Like it's blended in really well to my foundation. It's not laying on top of my skin. I feel like it's really blended nicely into my actual skin. The white cast is kind of dulled down as well. You just get like a super blind and reflect when you turn the face. Obviously I am very pale, so I don't know how this shade would pan out for other skin tones. Probably not that well and you may get a lot more of a cast, but they do have two other shades. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning, but they do have two other shades. One of them that I really just want to get for myself, which I might and I might mix in with this one is the medium one which is like a gold or rosy gold how I wish I could wear more colors like that but I love this I think what I'm gonna do now on the side of my face is go in with some setting spray because I know not everyone wants to set their face so if I kind of do myself up on this side a little we can see how it sits on moist skin and see if it chunks up or anything then for you guys so let me just pin my hair back i'm just gonna go in with the nyx dewy finish setting spray kind of sprayed that right on my eye <laughs> okay so now we have a little bit of moisture on the skin let's go in with the brush and see if it picks up anything or if it's not blendable or anything let's have a quick look oh golly gosh nope it's just as blendable man this looks gorgeous it may be disturbing the product a little bit underneath with the wetness going on yeah i feel like it's definitely disturbing over here and i went in really lightly with my brush as well like i don't know if you can kind of see it's kind of disturbed the product just a little bit over here whereas over here there's no disturbance at all please ignore my eyeliner it's so bad <laughs> <laughs> Give it another minute or two to dry down. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick it up on the brush, tap off all the excess, and then I'm just going into the lid and I'm just kind of buffing it into the brush, just so there's no like chunks or anything on the brush itself. Let's try going back in. That's a lot better. Finish wise, maybe I just went in a little bit too soon. But oh my gosh, it's so easy to blend. There's no chunking issues at all. I think it looks so good. Blind those haters, yeah. If you do kind of use it sparsely, it does look a little glittery. If you use it like a traditional highlighter, it just looks so good. Okay, now this side of my face looks so freaking dewy. <laughs> this one just looks matte and normal, so I'm gonna have to set the other side of my face now. Until you've used the Morphe setting spray, you do not know how aggressive other sprays are. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a little bit too glittery for my nose and everything, but we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it a little bit on the tip of here, a little bit down the center. I feel like by taking up the product, tapping off the excess and kind of swirling it into the lid really helps take off the excess and that allows you to get the kind of subtle glow instead of the wha-bam, you know, glow. So if you bought this and you were looking for something maybe a little bit more subtle, I mean, I don't know why you bought this if you were looking for that, but if you were, then try doing this. Kind of melts it into the brush a little and allows you to have more control. Okay, so I am highlighted to the gods and loving it. So with that said, let's zoom you guys out and discuss my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so you've seen me apply it. You've seen what it looks like on my skin. And as I said in the beginning, I have used this product, but I only used it once for a little Instagram video, which if you don't follow me, it's just at Lara, same way it is here on Instagram and on Twitter. But I really wanted to show you guys on video what this goes like on the skin and just show you that it's not really a scary product because personally, I always kind of stray away from loose highlighters just because I think they're gonna be a mess, they're gonna go everywhere, and they're gonna be like chunky on the skin and hard to use. This really is easy to use. And also the sifter in here is quite decent in keeping the product back. You may find with some other products, when you take the sifter off, you just have a bulk of product in there. This really hasn't gone to the top or anything and it's been in my drawer and, uh, and I don't keep my drawers very tidy. So <laughs> this has been moved around a lot and it doesn't have a lot of product in the top of of the actual casing, which I appreciate. One thing is though, because of that, it's kind of hard to get out, but you don't need a lot. So in a way, it's a good and bad thing. <laughs> 
texture wise as you can see it really just melted into my skin honestly there is no texture issue it looks so good it's so seamless with my actual skin you can't see where it starts and stops which I do find with some highlighters obviously this is a very pale shade so for my pale girls out there this is amazing it says it's silvery and it does have a kind of white base to it personally I don't feel like it washes me out though if you know what I mean I find with a lot of kind of cool toned highlighters you can get the ones that wash you out they're like blue toned or purple toned which is you know always on the market for pale people which I, I don't understand but this right here is like the perfect kind of tone where it's got that silver reflect but it doesn't wash you out so I really appreciate this I know you don't get a lot of product in here but as you saw you barely need any product so this is gonna last you a while do I think it's worth 25 pounds <sighs> is any loose highlighter really worth 25 pounds I don't know all I know is it's a good product and it works really well for me I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot more than what I thought I would I wanted to pack this in my bag the other day but then I was like no I need to make a video first of all so I definitely feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot and I just feel like it really pops off you know it really reflects on your skin it said that it was sparkly but I don't really see sparkly it's really not it just creates this really like mirror like effect like I feel like I'd be able to see myself in my highlight I am really considering getting the medium tone so I can mix it in with this so I've got more of like a warm toned highlight am I crazy because that would then be 50 pounds on highlights <laughs> probably but I just wanted to do this video if you were curious if you wanted to see what it looks like on pale skin you know I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money but if you do have 25 pounds and you are looking to invest in a highlighter then maybe get this one if you are pale skin but if you were curious about this product and what it looked like and how it worked and some tips and tricks on how I would use it then there you go <laughs> anyway guys this is gonna be it for this video I'm gonna put the highlight away <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any kind of way but I just wanted to talk about this product because it's quite hype so yeah if you like these single product reviews then don't forget to leave a little thumbs up on the video so I know I do kind of question doing these you know one product reviews but sometimes I feel like they are more helpful than compiling it into one and then you know you not knowing what's going to be in the video altogether it's just there for people who are actually looking for a review on this particular product but let me know if that's something that you like by giving a thumbs up it really helps me honestly because I don't want to make videos on things that you guys don't want to watch because I'm here for you <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you're just now stopping by and you enjoy product reviews and makeup tutorials chit chats and many other things <laughs> then why not subscribe to the channel and join this little family that we've got going here I upload every Wednesday and Saturday so I'm here twice a week so if you're looking for more things to watch then why not subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the little bell because otherwise I won't tell you when I've uploaded very important <laughs> anyway I'm going to love you and leave you I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one till then bye guys <coughs> and all <laughs> get out of my face so it's supposed to be a so the loose hair <laughs> Of a flower of a face, a great one will come be waiting for me. Blah, get out of my life. That was so sassy. <laughs>